Hello, hello. Welcome to the Peter Parker Show. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been a long, long while. Anyway, today I got a few chores to do. It's kind of far away from home. So I thought I would just take the super. Do a little vlogging. Because it's been a while. It's a little, uh, a little rainy today, but I don't really see any rain, so, yeah, it feels, it feels safe to ride. I'm thinking about changing these tires to new tires, but you know how it is. It's such a pain in the ass to change tires, and, um, there are really no tires in the market that uh, are really good for the super i mean there are the shinkos that people talk about all the time and unfortunately those are such a pain in the ass to put on these rims that sometimes they bend the rim so you have to have a, a literal motorcycle rim on these and of course these bikes are not designed to have motorcycle rims they're not designed to have any motorcycle parts at all which is why it's so hard to put on any parts that are basically motorcycle parts on these bikes Spectacular driving. Oh, what's going on here? Interesting. I have no idea what that is. But anyway, so yeah, so I was thinking about making a video and I was gonna talk about my gear, but I think I wanna do that when it's sunnier, not when it's so cloudy like today. And I uh, got somebody behind me. I'm keeping an eye out. I put some mirrors. Look at that. Are you guys happy? I finally put some mirrors on. Oh, I put a mirror on. I didn't put any on on the right, but I did put one on the left. It's better than no mirrors, am I right? But anyway, I do feel a little bit safer with a mirror. Although it is kind of inconvenient because my leg is kind of blocking the way. So I would have to put it upwards. And I just don't like how it looks up. So I, I just put it down. I can still see behind me. So it's still safe to, safe enough to see behind me. But it's just not as convenient if it was upwards. If that makes any sense. The bike is still running good. Um, I talked about it in the, in the previous video, but I'm planning on going to Irvine and making a video about it. Going to the Super 73 headquarters and just getting this bike checked out. And speaking of safety, I probably my next video is going to be about the gear. I'm going to stop being lazy now that I have a little bit more free time and make a video about the, uh, the safety gear. And do kind of like a little Peter Parker video breakdown of it. Like I used to do back in the day. And yeah, just kind of show you guys like what I'm wearing. I mean, right now I'm wearing all my safety gear. Because I'm taking some really shady roads. Like really, really bad roads. So I got my motorcycle pants. I got my... Uh, this, this girl's going to go on a red. Um, I got my uh, Super 73 100% gloves. Which are not super protective. But at least they have the knuckle protection. And when it turns green, she's like on her phone so funny people are so funny anyway I'm, I'm wearing i'm wearing my jacket i'm wearing all the safety gear right now and i'm taking santa monica one of the most dangerous roads This is definitely not a, a, a road designed for bikes. There are bike lanes on this road, but they're not bike lanes, let's be honest. Another thing about this road is that if somebody pulls in front of me, like this guy right here, I'm pretty much screwed. So hopefully that doesn't happen while I'm riding. No foreshadowing, please. Um, 
yeah, so like I said, that's the reason why I'm wearing all my gear. I just want to be safe riding. And yeah, you guys know, you, you guys know, I don't want to be a broken record all the time. But yeah, 40, 40 is just enough to be on this road, honestly. I don't think you go 50 on this road. If you do go 50, you're uh, with a very small micro. So, um, yeah, anyway, I was going to say that, yeah, I do, I do want to, I'm itching to do new, more videos about just fun stuff. I do want to test out this, um, the range on this battery, and I want to go all the way to Griffith with it, with, um, with basically level two pedal assist. I was going to do level one just to make a point, but I don't want to do level one because it's so slow. It's like 15 miles per hour. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well ride a, like a, like a regular bicycle. You know what I mean? So I might as well just do level two, which is like, I think 22 miles per hour, 23, which is a decent speed. And um, it's definitely, I mean, it's gonna, I'm gonna be arriving to Griffith much faster than someone in a car. So I'm still gonna be traffic, even though I'm going 22 miles per hour, because I'm gonna be cutting through lanes, cutting through the sides. So yeah, it should be just fine. You guys are wondering why aren't you cutting through traffic right now? Well, I'm not in a hurry and I just want to be completely safe. So I'm staying behind in line with every other car. Even though I could totally cut in through traffic, they could be it would be really easy for me to do that. Like this guy. I also don't have a license plate right now, like a fake one that says something on it. So I'm kind of vulnerable to cops as well because if they see me riding this motor, like this motorcycle looking e-bike and I'm kind of through traffic now because I kind of have to. So just FYI, um, I kind of have to do this guys, sorry. But I was going to say if, uh, my brakes are making noise. I wonder. Maybe I haven't embedded them properly because I just got them new. So they weren't making any noise when I was riding. And now they're starting to make noise. So anyway, I keep getting distracted with what I'm saying. But basically I was trying to say that if a cop sees me riding this and they see there's no plates on it, I'm pretty sure they're gonna stop me. Um, just because it looks like a motorcycle. So I know that's a fear that everybody has and that never happens in California because people here just really don't care. Wow. Did that fourth thing just fall off his thing? And that's so funny. I do want to cut through here, but I want to be safe. So I'm just going to wait. It's so slow right now, my visor's up because there's literally no wind. It's just, I'm going like, 50 miles per hour right now. Well, really slowly right now. I'm gonna cut through here, guys. technically I'm a bike so I was just gonna go on the bike lane here I'm super early I'm like 30 minutes early to my appointments uh, I just get so paranoid I hate being late to places so uh, I was like oh let me just 
head out 30 minutes early since I'm on an e-bike, but I forget this scene is like a car. This scene goes so fast. So I'm literally 30 minutes early to my appointment right now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I miss going on group rides. It's been a while. Uh, it's just not the same anymore. I feel like the e-bike culture, the the you know just kind of like riding with your homies and you know with the big group ride downtown it's just not the same anymore it's just it's been more dangerous to ride lately uh, i've been hearing more more people getting hurt uh, i've been seeing on the citizen app more people get hit by cars uh, on e-bikes um so yeah it's just not safe anymore to, to ride unfortunately especially in like downtown area Like I said, I'm super early, so I'm not really rushing. Thanks, man. Wow. I was gonna stop fully, but then he went right in front of me even more. Wow. Well, I got that on camera. Welcome to LA, guys. The guy didn't even turn. Like, literally, you cannot turn there. He just went on the bike lane for no reason. God damn, man. I'm, I'm glad I wasn't going 40. Because, I mean, obviously, he, he was already in the bike lane to begin with. But if he decided to do that while I was arriving, I would have been fucked. And, um, like, I, so, like I was saying earlier... There's something about the Grizzlies that slip even more. You think that these guys are a little bit more aggressive, but actually they're not. They, uh, they're they a little bit more risky to ride on, especially if they're sand, gravel, or water. They, it feels like it doesn't grasp as well. Maybe because they're still pretty new tires and the knobs are kind of kind of uh, sharp, but it just feels like um, like you're suspended on, on like nothing. <clears throat> so it's not actually grabbing anything. It's just kind of like slipping and uh, You could hear my back tire like sliding on the on the concrete because it would just wasn't gra grabbing on anything So it's it's uh, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe um, Doing something else. That's not the Grizzlies We'll see front of me please for the for the love of god please don't do it don't do it danger over dude all right guys <clears throat> anyway guys um yeah it's it's uh it's a lot rough it's rough to ride in la now and you know don't want to be a broken record but that's mainly the reason why you guys haven't been seeing me as much riding so yeah it's just rough and honestly i'd only feel safe riding with other people and because my schedule is kind of weird it, i can never catch a ride with people it's always have to be like after hours at night and uh yeah after after hours nobody's available to ride popping right now I don't know if this is boring to you guys I might cut this out this part of the vlog is waiting in line to get coffee 
I hope this um, this vlog is somewhat interesting. And you guys are not too bored. Whoops. Alright, here we go. Turn on my motor. Full power. And here we go. power it's so hard to see with a screen man super dim it's like i'm at full power so yeah guys this is just a chill vlog uh you know just me giving you guys a hit like a update and uh almost getting hit by a car um yeah you know the usual vlog <laughs> Still in the blue. Wow. Forgot to record how many miles I've done, but I think it was like five miles to get here. So I think half the tank is 10 miles. So I'm still, I'm still at the 75% um, range probably. Anyway guys, I think this is gonna be a short one um as usual sorry that i'm not posting as much i know i would say that every single time but i apologize i want to make more videos i'm doing my best to keep consistent um and you know just give you guys more content uh, as much as possible like i said earlier i wanted to go to griffith and make a video about uh using the if i can actually use this battery all the way to griffith and back and still have range to get back I don't think it will be possible but we'll see it'll be a good it'll be a good experiment yeah, this Tesla is out of control man anyway I want to say thank you to you guys so much for watching like and subscribe it helps me out a lot it helps me be bigger stronger faster Unfortunately, I'm not partners with uh, Shy Batteries anymore, but if you want to support the channel, you can grab any of my accessories uh, from Amazon down in the link below in the description. Uh, it really helps out the channel when you guys purchase uh, the little accessories from, uh, from Amazon. I get a little kickback from that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>